Bernard Tobin here at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show, and I am talking now with uh, Ming Wee from uh, Ford Robotics. Ming, how's it going? Hey, good. Uh, nice to talking to you. Great. Thanks for taking the time. Now, I want to talk drones here. Now, you you have a high capacity aerial application drone in front of us. A little different than what I've seen in the past. Talk about this. I mean, you're really targeting larger farms with this. Yes. Um, typically, the drones, most drones you see out there for aerial spraying are fairly small capacity um, with uh, for design for mostly Asian farms and for North American farms in the hundreds or even thousands of acres, it's just not going to cut it. And we designed this aircraft to be able to perform the aerial spraying services or applications to people who have really large, uh, really large farms. How much ground can we cover and how fast? Um, so we are designing this to be able to do 100 acres an hour at four gallons an acre. That's nominal. We can also do uh, more 150 acres an hour at two gallons an acre or uh, uh, 50 acres an hour at 10 gallons an acre. And the key here is that um, the aircraft has a fixed tank, but we also have very rapid automated refills. And because of the refills, um, we don't, we're not as limited by the tank as uh, if you're will completely rely on the tank to uh, cover the entire field. When the, uh, when the aircraft tank runs out, it automatically lands back at the refill station, fills it back up again, and resumes spraying until the entire field is sprayed. And because of our technology, we can do the entire refill process in a very short period of time so that the overall productivity is way higher than you will otherwise uh, be able to achieve. And that's a big challenge for larger drones, is that refill, that carry capacity. You know, how do how you guys sort of tackle that from a technology perspective? Yes, so a lot of companies, uh, it's one way to tackle it is just put a really large tank on their, on their aircraft, which is one way to approach it. But we are approaching from the other angle where we're trying to combine very high flight speed, very high spray speed, with a very fast refill time. And once you put everything to the same equation, the, the two combined, gives you a overall productivity that's not achievable by just maximizing one or the other. Yeah, so this this is fully automated, right? I don't have to fly it. All I need is, is field map and the information and I'm, I'm in business, right? Yes. Um, first time you set it up, you will enter the boundaries of your farm and static obstacles like trees and uh, different, uh, different obstacles. And once that's defined, in the future, you just uh, fire it up and it will follow a pre prescribed path uh, over the entire farm, and uh, you don't have to do anything. It sprays in everything, it refills by itself. When it's done, it will land back to the station, and that's it. Ming, tell me about the dimensions of this uh, drone. Pretty large here, um, and uh, maybe uh, what's, what's it made of? Um, so, the aircraft right now is a 3.5 meter base wingspan, and uh, we have a boom extension that goes up to 22 feet for, for the wider spraying swaths. Um, it's made out of carbon fiber, uh, pretty much everything. Carbon fiber and some 3D printed uh, plastics. Um, we make it everything in house. We make everything in Kitchener, Ontario. Uh, we design the uh, composite tooling, we design the aerodynamics, and we design the hardware, software, flight controls, and everything. Uh, we make it uh, by, we have a CNC router that makes the tooling, and then we use the tooling to make the, do the carbon fiber layup, composite work, and then we glue everything together with epoxy. Tell me about the business, Forward Robotics. Obviously, um, this is not your first foray into the drone industry. Yeah, um, we are both a graduate from University of Toronto, uh, aerospace, uh, aerospace program. And uh, we've been working on various drone projects for the last, last 10 years, some personal, some uh, uh, recently. For, we founded this company in 2018, and they've been working on uh, drones for different applications since then. And, Eventually, we pivoted to doing agriculture because we identified this to be a big problem area. And uh, that's where eventually led to where I am now. Yeah. Final question, where are you from a development perspective? I, I understand this is pretty much a prototype. You've got some testing to do. When will you be commercial? Um, we are currently finishing this up uh, with some, more de uh, some last development work and uh, doing some testing. And we're hoping to get everything ready by uh, next spring uh, and next summer of the latest.